What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the next episode of the Rag to Riches series. Today, we are heading out, ladies and gentlemen, to go and, uh, well, check out the island finally and talk to our man over there, Mr. Lighthouse Keeper, and start some news of quests. Um, I figured while we're there, we might as well do some looting. So I brought the blackjack, got the L LBCRs with us. We are a little bit over capacity, but it's fine. I brought the MP9 back out again. We still haven't gotten back our old one, but it's fine. It's all good. Actually, I'm going to swap one thing out. I'm going to take this off. This is a tactical. I need a flashlight. Do I have a flashlight anywhere inside the stash or do I need to buy one? I do have a flashlight. We'll take this one. This is gonna, we're going to be going at night, so I want to be able to see a little bit while we're on the island itself. So, plan is we're going to loot up the place. We're going to meet my housekeeper, turn in the flash drive that we're going to need to get done, and uh, yeah, go from there. And of course, make our money back and hopefully not have any random weird lag spikes again from Tarkov and disconnect and lose all of our gear. But like I said, that stuff should be coming back. I'm pretty sure I died to a scav, not a player, but we'll see. Let's come over here, grab our item. Very nice. So now we can take... So that there it is put that inside the special slot I'm pretty sure I still can't turn in the item over to you oh I can good now we gotta visit the lighthouse building we got this all right that's all I really need to set up for let's head out and let's do this are you ready all right we got an okay spawn for this we gotta go kind of far actually maybe no etcher wasn't the best spawn now that I think about it we have to go across the way, follow the shoreline all the way down, and then we, uh, we'll start heading towards where we need to go. Oh, shoot, that's right. Gotta quickly do this. Hashtag making thumbnails messes up my inter interchange every, or interface every time. I'm actually gonna pop the SJ6. While we're right here, might as well see if there's any loot. There is not. Get that turned on. All right, now we gotta get moving. I gotta go pretty far too. My goal, like I said, is just to loot everything on the island itself and um, figure out what we guess we get to do. Now, if you see players on there, it's, if this is your first time watching the, the videos and never seen anyone go to the island itself, once we're on the island, I cannot shoot anybody. That includes players, NPCs, all that. Because if I shoot any of them, the device will break, the NPCs will kill me, and then after that, uh, I'll have to do extremely, extremely annoying quests to get back to the island. So, if someone wants to be dumb and kill me, by all means, let them, because most likely they're going to get killed anyway, because their device will break, and then they have to tra traverse the land to get past the mines that are over there, or the claymores, I should, they're not mines, they're the claymores. And then I'm also certain that the boss will also shoot anyone too that uh, shoots on the island or shoot somebody on the island. So let's uh, let's be cautious about that. Head over here. Nothing so far. That was weird. Couldn't, couldn't vault that for some reason. I honestly just got, I gotta keep running. That way I'm not wasting the SJ6. The funny part is once you get on the island too, is that you can shoot off of the island. So like if, you're, if I'm on the island, someone's over on the main shore, I can shoot them and I will have no penalties whatsoever. It's only if anyone shoots from the shoreline onto the island or the bridge, that's where they will start getting shot at. Almost there. I see it in our sights. It's been forever since we've been back. And we have so much more to go. I'm kind of curious, though. At what point do we unlock the services? Because I've been keeping that kind of like a... I wouldn't say like a secret to myself, but I've been making that more of just... Not like search, like researching that. Because I wanted to experience it for the first time myself without looking anything up. I just know like... You need to do this for this quest. You need to do this for this quest. That's about it. I didn't actually look up any of the other information associated with it. 
And because I'm, you know, me, and because I feel like I'm going to die, I don't know why I'm going to hold this item. I know you don't have to hold the island normally, go or the item going into the island, but for the first time's sake, just to know that I'm not going to die, I'm bringing it with us. I don't know why. It is a weird thing. Knowing Tarkov, there, there's some bug that will kill me, and I'm going to go, well, that's a thing. 7U4. Is that... Oh no, that's the other one I can buy. It's Rat Cola. Keep on moving. Claymores are like right there. They're replaced all the way through the bridge. It's 7N40. Nice. Another Claymore. There's a box over here I'm pretty sure I passed. Or is it up here? I don't remember exactly. Okay, we're good. We don't need to have that thing on anymore. FMJ, nothing in that box. Search all of this PRS. Yes, ammo. Okay, let's get inside. And of course, we'll do like we've always done. Literally everything. I have to buy the keys for this place, so it's not going to be as high profit as you normally would get. I don't have the two keys. I will be buying those soon, though. For those that are curious, I, I just have not bought the keys yet. You would think, well, why didn't you buy the keys? Well, let's see how the first run goes without the keys and go from there. 20. Still working on Silent Caliber, so I will I will take it. Be a little bit careful considering the guards can be on the ground and sometimes they're harder to spot than the normal. Drink. All right. What about upstairs? And of course, those of you that are familiar with this place, you'll know that it's it's pretty decent on the money. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but it does okay for the money. But it is a nice place to come in because you're pretty much free to do whatever inside this place. Obviously, if someone's like camping, hello noodles. Um, and if anyone's camping before, you know, the, the actual bridge, that could be a problem. And yeah, like I said, I'll buy the keys. I don't really know what the price is on them right now. We'll have to take a look at that. Oh, wrong door. Come here. I'm gonna keep the shotgun ammo inside the uh, the actual box because you save an extra slot by doing that. Nice. This is like a method I'm sure if you guys have ever seen, like hyperret, where you, you you literally just grab everything you can because it's just bulk. You're doing you're doing bulk. Um, I'll grab that. You're doing bulk looting. And then at the end, when you have a decent amount, you can just sell it on the flea market and get literal tons of cash. But a lot of people have transitioned from the lighthouse over to streets, because obviously streets is just absolutely bonkers now, considering the BTRs there. So like the strategy we were, we were doing last episode, which unfortunately I wasn't able to fully complete because of reasons i don't know why they happened but they happened so you can all you can get double the loot every time it's really really nice and if you think about it you probably in, i don't know about this but yeah i guess technically this bag you put two bags here two bags here so that way you fill up the bag fully and then you drop them off and you still get two other bags to fill up stuff with many different ways you can go with that Biggest thing is you gotta make sure you take a take a uh, mule with you. If you don't have a mule stem with you, on, at least for this map, it's uh, very difficult to get out because you're walking so slow. Another room right there. I need to get the key for and buy. No case in here. What about the other side? Oh, I gotta go downstairs. That's right. Right over here. Check this 
place down. Don't, don't have the key, obviously, for the safe. This will, for sure, give us a lot of points to towards our search, which is what I want. And this. No medical. The closet. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Now, some people argue you don't have to bring as much ammo with you, obviously, because you're on the islands, so you're safe, but... I like to have a little bit of extra ammo on this in case we have to, you know, fight somebody once we get off the island. This part makes me very nervous because the guards, when they are on the ground, like sit like right behind this little block. Even if you don't shoot at the guards, if you get too close to them, then they're like, whoa, 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 get out of here. And if you don't pay attention, you'll die. Give me the loot. There's more loot on the ground. Another hose. Actually, I can turn the flashlight off. I was just using that for when we were inside. Menton. There could be a fuel spawn by the tankers here. any good ammo there or not. Sorry, I need the slide now. Another one of that. Weapon parts. Oh, there's, hey, oh, we got a mule. Very nice. Big money right there. Okay, I could check. The dock here. Did I just? Oh god! I thought that was one of the guards for a minute. <laughs> just a hole. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, "What is that?" That threw me off for a minute. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is, since those two bags are full, right? You're both full. Oh, well, you're almost full. I'll toss that in there. Drop these here. And we can come back for him. If someone does come for it, well, well by all means, man, I, I put him there so I can keep running. Check all this. FMJ. The bolts. All the bolts. battery I think on top of the safe we can check the safe we got a map wow this is a full safe this is a good safe a really good safe what the heck that was a very good safe come on computer give me my graphics card all right I have you hold on to it for a reason or not out of here I could go through all like the filing cabinets like I would normally do because you can get more loot through that which I, I may end up doing so don't, don't be too crazy you know, too worried when I start doing that just to fill up all the slots I mean I have no no thought in my mind we're, we're not gonna be full by the time we leave here but it's an extra way to do it there's no computers here let's see we'll see where we're at with loot if we need to go through the filing cabinets I will Bag. Let's take a look over here. Oh, hello. And it looks like it's it for that side. That over here. This is my baseline. If I, I can't go any higher than that. 
Now, I do have the, the other bigger backpack that I can obviously buy for these runs, which I will most likely end up doing. I just, I used what I had for the time being. Also done there. Blackjack's still not that bad, though. Nice. That was convenient. I can see it, but why can't I grab it? Got it. I'll set in there. Alright, that should be all the loot up here. Eh, jump it. There you go. It's gonna be. Oh, what? Oh, is it just a chance? It may be a chance percentage that the crate actually spawns. Was not expecting one to not be there. Huh. Flashlights. Empty. Take all that. Got the hose. Alright, we can go inside now. Anything next to the dead scab? It doesn't look like it. It's like loot right here on the side of them. Come on, search them up. I honestly don't have that many spots left, so it's gonna be go time soon. Drink it up, drink it up. Funny part is you can't the the, the rigs that I brought in. You can't bring more than two of them in a raid, which is a bit weird. I won't, I won't lie. Why Tarkov did that, I don't know. Maybe because they didn't want you to have so much loot in the world, but... Yeah, you can only carry two of those. Nothing on the chair. Another stim. Got a Sir 12. About 50k right there. Yeah, we can take it, I suppose. Double checking. Nope, nothing else on the ground. Got ourselves a pass though. Why don't we toss that up there, put that there. EKO, no thank you. Ammo we got here. Crap ammo. Alright, so drop on the door. Drop down. For my legs a tiny bit, but not that bad. And we're good. Now, uh, you, there, you can loot stuff up top on this little ridge here, but the boss is over there, or the guards are over there. So, I don't want to risk it, because if you get too close, like I said, they will just automatically shoot at you. And we don't need that. Anything on top? There. Alright. Let's go have a little discussion with Mr. Lighthouse Keeper. I wonder if he'll actually show me services that he has right away. Nice. Oh, that's right. I just have to go to the actual building. Let me take a look here. I don't know if I can actually talk to him right now or not. Or if I have to wait. All the loot. Well, hello there. Это ты. Ну да, кто же еще? Прошел все испытания? <смех> Я смотритель. Думаю, ты слышал обо мне. Вести дела со мной хочет каждый, но не каждому дано. You've heard of me. Who are you? Кто я в данный момент совсем не важно. Важно, кто ты и зачем ты здесь. А. Я смотритель. Смотрю за всем и за всеми, и все видят мой свет. В наше неспокойное время самое главное — обладать нужной информацией. Информация порождает связи. Связи дают возможности. 
Most definitely. What opportunities? Да. Возможности менять окружение и, как следствие, реальность. В среде подобного рода базовая потребность человека это выживание. Я не хочу просто выживать. Я хочу контролировать выживание. Okay. Sounds too ambitious. Для выживающего, да. Для того, кто обеспечивает выживаемость, все иначе. Мы встретились неспроста. Во всех событиях есть смысл. Случайностей не бывает. Well, that's why they call it questing. At some point I'm going to meet you. So, anyway. Ты сам искал встречи со мной. Ты задавал вопрос себе зачем? I don't know. But knowing someone like you could give me something. Приближенность к тому, для кого коллапс есть начало нового. Ты хочешь не просто выжить. Ты хочешь контролировать ситуацию. I mean, I just want your loot in your service. That's about it. I don't really want to escape from Tarkov. I, I, I enjoy here. Tarkov и есть ты. Ты не можешь сбежать от себя самого. Как не смог сбежать от себя самого я. Right. Этому миру конец. Все эти жалкие попытки удержаться на тающей льдине в центре бушующего океана. Все эти локальные стычки, лицемерие торговцев, подстрекательство, насилие, помноженное на насилие. Все это ведет к очень конкретному результату. Заката не будет. Будет перерождение. Ты не сможешь сбежать из Таркова. Well, good. I didn't want to. I just told you that. Ты ничего не понял. Это нормально. Я тоже сначала ничего не понял, когда они связались со мной. Понял, понял. Um, but who are you talking about? Нам пока больше не о чем говорить. Ты сам все поймешь со временем, распутывая этот клубок. Okay, so I can't. He can't help me with anything just yet. So let's see what kind of work he's got for us. Всегда что-то есть. Fantastic. Info information source. All right. Принято. Thank you. I guess that's it. We'll have to come Всего back here. Всего хорошего. Got a show. Well, how do you say it? Um, yeah. So, information source is the one where we have to go and, uh, well, we have to plant two, uh, I think, two markers on streets for the, you know, like, the Humvee-looking things. And then we have to take, like, four different vehicle extracts out there. One on streets, one on interchange, one on woods, and one on customs. Of course, you know... Woods is the only one that's actually 100%. The other ones are not. So it could take a second to actually finish that quest, which is fine. Opportunity to make money, I suppose. Now, I think we're good. We're full up. We're going to go grab our rigs over here, and then we're going to head out. But hey, this is a victory, a win for us. Okay, we completed that quest for mechanics. We're going to get some XP and some more... Pointless points after that, but that's fine. Looks at the corner here. All right, how much are we at? Sixty-one point five. That's not horrible, actually. Probably should have closed the door. Typically, I close the door so that way people don't like scope in, look this direction, and see someone's on the island. So that's on me. All right, give it a second. I'm going to get our stamina up, then I'll pop our mule, and then we can get the heck out of here. And then, yeah, we get a little bit of a run-in. We're debating, though. Because I need money right now. And yes, it'd be nice to work on, like, Lightkeeper stuff. But at the same time, we could come back here for one more run. See what else we could collect with the keys that I need. And then next episode, we could go out and start working on the quest to start working towards fin finishing up stuff for Lighthouse Keeper. I think that's what we're going to do. Because I need to, I need to start making a little money back. Yes, I know I have 10 mil. But as you can see how fast well, we were at 22 mil, look how fast 12 mil goes sometimes. When you just have bad luck or if you're, if you're working on a bunch of quests. So, think of it that way. Off the island. Chill by the car. 
And then we're pretty much just going to take this all the way up to the end and get the heck out of here. Funny part is I haven't heard any shots since I've gotten into this map. Maybe you guys have, or maybe I just missed it or something. But yeah, I have not heard a single shot this whole time being on this map. It's been very strange. I don't know how I feel about that. Looking good. We're full on that one. Now, the mule does hurt me, obviously. A little out of time degrades my health, but... Man, it's very useful. Get all the way over here. Get the loot. Get out. Keep on moving. Maybe we get some look at some other loot, but I, no, I think we're good. I was going to loot maybe this area here too and like swap out some items, but no, no, it's fine. We're good. Plus two, with basically having an empty junk box, I don't have to like randomly throw stuff in my staff stash anymore like I've been doing, which is very, very good for us. Oh man, let's keep moving. On a side note, yesterday it was 70 degrees out. Man, oh man, did it feel great. This would have been like two days ago for you guys. And uh, today, it is now 21 degrees out and snowing. I love the weather in my state so much. <laughs> I would say this is like, and it's, it's February still. So, I mean, this is now number three of the... The fake spring, or like what they call it, false, false spring. Yeah, this would be the third false spring we had. It's been a lot of fun. But I have to go venture out today to go to work. So probably between this clip and the next clip, it'll be drastically different in time, at least for, for, your, for me, not for you. It'll be instantaneously for you guys. Let's keep on moving. Not bad, not bad. Well, we've made it, I think. Yes. Pretty much we made it. Over here. We lay down. We'll take all the extra loot in the world. And, well, we'll profit. Let's do this. Um, we got, got a horrible spawn, actually. I did bring, I did forget to bring a SJ6 in, though. So that's a, a little annoying, but this is fine. See if there's anything on the way there, Team T-Brick. Hey, I'll take it. But we gotta get going. We gotta get across the way and then loot the heck out of the place. I did buy all the keys. So we have all the keys. It cost me like, I wanna say it was roughly like 500,000, which yeah, it's a, it's a decent investment, but it'll be fine overall. And we'll definitely be able to get our investment back for sure, once we uh, do these trips a few more times. Let's take a look. Is there anything inside this box while we're passing by? Nope. All right, let's get to the lighthouse. Oh, that was close. I literally spotted him at the last second. Oh boy. What the heck were you doing, man? Trying to catch someone coming to the lighthouse? That's been my guess what you're doing. What'd you get? Anything while you're out here? Well, you got some food on you. Am I even gonna take it though? Nope, not worth it. And catch just uh, a couple of mags. Oh. Um, I'll take all those. Wait, what? Can't interact with an M993 because it's currently... What? Currently being modified. What? What are you talking about? I 
Tarkov, are you drunk? That's not me modifying something. That's just me trying to unload it. Gotta love it. Well, at least we didn't die. I did see him the last night. He whiffed his first shot, which helped. That could have been very bad. Because M993, yeah, would have killed me. For sure, if it would have hit me in the head. Okay, now for anyone here. Looks like we're good. Like I said, it took a hot second to get over here, considering I didn't have my, um, my SG6 on me. But, I mean, I, I would have had to have buy, bought one, so it saved me, like, 70, 80k. Do enjoy saving a little bit of money. Let's get on this island. I'm good so far. But, yeah, that, this MP9 is so nice. All you gotta do is just, like, you don't full auto it, you just tap fire it. Like, you burst it. And, uh, typically you can get a pretty good headshot on somebody. Or, like, just kill them really easily with it. Obviously, it's a lot easier when they're closer, but... Kind of shows you can still do it at a distance shot. Okay. Let's keep moving. Probably should check the... Spots there for some stuff. That was the box I was looking for earlier. tape. I guess I should grab that type of stuff just to have it on me. But it does obviously give me XP for looting and whatnot. Oh, hey! Howdy, partner. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fancy. I got, uh, killed the guy that was trying to snipe us over here. There was someone trying to snipe us? Yeah, he was sitting like right on the water's edge. Oh god, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even acknowledge he's a... He saved us. Yeah, he was a little sneaky guy. Alright, uh, how do you want to, do you want to divvy it up a little bit? I don't know what he said, what did he say? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Alright, well, we'll let him loot that up. He's obviously got the good room over there. We'll be civil over here, of course. You know, let him loot that spot. I'll loot over here. See what we can get. We're not going to get greedy. Is that a drink I can loot? It is not a drink I can loot. PP. You know, so far so good, other than, you know, it being like 20 degrees out. It's a little cold. What is this? Oh. I don't think I've ever actually, like, seen that part before. We'll take it. We'll take it. Like that. Ooh, that's six, seven, five. There we go. Really only need that stuff for like when we get over here. Or until we get here, then that's it. Then we don't need the, the meds really. I think someone there. Exploded. Someone exploded? Yeah, I had an explosion. Oh. Fortunate for them. People going wild. Really gotta be careful. Like, like I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about the AI. Like randomly being around here. I'm gonna run into them. Oh, there's two coats here. Why do I never remember two coats? I think there was just a single coat last time. <laughs> we'll go check out the freezer behind us in a moment, too. I mean, yeah. 
same thing as before. Just take it. Just take everything. It's all profitable at the end of the day. Wait, what's that? What'd you say? Give me one moment. Okay. <laughs> See if there's anything up here while we're waiting for him. I'm not sure what he said. You get very muffled when you go into a building. Anything else in here? Mari. Boom, 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 boom. All right, how do you want to divide the top part? That way it's even. I don't mind. Uh, if I can get the med room in the building that has the key. Okay. And then you take the key in the downstairs. Yeah, that's fine with me. And then there's the two other buildings. We just take one each. Yeah, do you want... You can take the safe building. I'll take the other building in the roof. Okay, cool. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Teamwork. Making things work, you know? There's two of us, obviously. Gotta work it. This dude is using. I think he's using the same gun as me, but <laughs> with the um, uh, what do you call it? So uh, with the with the thermal on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. All right, he'll take the one behind us. That's got like, it's got a lot better stuff. Like it's got a safe and whatnot. But we'll take like some pretty good stuff here it's still worth some money and if it don't get like the biggest thing in the world i'd rather still have like nice interactions with this and like work together we're both here for loot what we're doing so trying to be good sport you know okay, i'm at 42.6 right now so it should be fine He's smart though with a backpack. He's got he's a lot more camouflage than I am. Because mine thing's like a bright white backpack compared to him. But then again, he's also using the bright white shirt too. So I guess we're kind of evened out. Okay, I did check that. Check the PC here. Come on. Oh, hard drive though. I'll take it. Card. The reason why I made the trade off, like he's got the better, better buildings overall, because the medical's got really good spawns in there, and so obviously with the safe on the other side. But I've got the rooftop, which can have that loot spawn there too, and then I've got this building here, which can have some okay loot, and then I got the locked room downstairs, which, to be fair, it's not very good. Like it's it's okay, you can get sometimes get some decent spawns, but they're not very good. See what we got here. But he was first to the island, so he deserves his little reward. I'll take some stuff here. This is good. Are these both full? Oh, they're not full. Okay. Toss that there. Toss that there. Take this. If anything, the safe is what gives him the most. Like for those two spots. Oh, he already opened the door. I thought you, th I thought you said he was going to leave that for me. Let's 
Oh well. You know, maybe we mis misunderstood what we were talking about. It's fine. Nothing else in there. It's a dead boy. I mean, this loot, it, it's something. PRS ammo. know who would win in a fight with here. I mean, granted, he's got thermal, but the thermal could sometimes be, like, behind on the track. Plus, he'd have to take night vision off and all that, so... I'm gonna go down and loot the beach. Uh, do you want me to wait for you by the gate? Sure, that's fine. Cool. See you soon. Keep on looking. Check this all out. We got this one over here. I right. oh hello safe key. Actually is that a oh that's a health resort one. Okay, I thought for a minute that was a cottage one, but that definitely is not the cottage one. I think the, I think the cottage one is if I remember right. It is purple. The background. Oh that was a weird bug. Oh I was seeing that door. I'm an idiot. I thought he opened the door originally, but no, I'm an idiot. I looked at the wrong, wrong door. He was truthful, what he was saying. That's on me. What ammo we got in this? FMJ? I mean, it's something. That's... He's gonna loot up the beach, which is fine. I can go... A little bit farther down. I'm trying to think where I could go and loot. Um, yeah, I could, no, there's like a little garage there. He's gonna go to the beach, so I'll check the garage. There's not a lot of spawns in there, but it's something. Oh, he shot the light. That's what he shot. Okay, I heard shots, but I was like, "What are you shooting at?" Curious where how far down the pier he's gonna go search. <clears throat> or if he's just gonna search a few things. Grab this, grab that, grab that. I don't think I have anything that can go on that. No, I do not. However. I'll drop this and I'll drop this. We'll take that instead. Okay. I think we're good. You open the key room in there, yeah? Yep, that one's open there. There's like cool. iridium in there, I think. Nice. Eh? I was fortunate enough to find a uh, Bitcoin out on the beach in the box. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. So how do you want to play? You wanna you wanna go first, and then I'll just follow like thirty seconds later, or are you, uh, unless no, I don't really care either way. All right. Unless you're cool, then we can just both go at the same time. I'm not looking to look at that loot. Yeah, I don't mind. I bet. Let's go. I don't have an SJ6, so he's gonna be a little bit ahead of me. Is that the dead guy over there? Little yeah, I'm right the, the by like the rocks. Uh, right by the water, looks like. Yep, yep. Yeah, he was, he was sitting there with a rifle. Oh my! Have you looted him? Yeah, I got like his, his uh, scope and suppressor. He didn't really have much. Yeah, I mean, to be just camping this, you would expect they probably don't have a whole lot. Exactly. Don't see anything up top in the rocks. 
Oh, I realized I was like, I, th I think you and I use the same gun. <laughs> FP9 goes hard, man. Oh my god, we are as well. That's yeah. great. <laughs> I, I like it because it's light, you know? Yeah, exactly. It still does, I mean, if you burst it, it still does really good. He's going to see way more than I will. I mean, I thought about that doing the, uh, the thermal. It does help in a sense. So, well, maybe you guys will will run it one of these days. You never know. Oh, it's a great sunset right here. Thing pretty stable with the uh, with the thermal on it. Huh? Is it pretty steady with the thermal on it still? Yeah, it doesn't move a whole lot. Um, I don't, I don't like having to shoot it because Fleur's got such a long refresh. But right, you, know, you can make it work. Okay, that's why I was curious. I was like, I, I figure like with a refresh rate, it may not be the best when it comes to. Like fighting and whatnot. No, it's, it's definitely better for spying from far away and then avoiding or just take it off the mag dump if you can. I'll bet, okay. Keep on going. Oh god, we got the sun rising and the and the moon's just still straight up in the air. <laughs> the design of that's always made me laugh. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Come on, heading out. Oh, maybe he pops something else. I mean, I feel like if he had an SJ60, he would have been a lot more ahead of me. I don't know. Oh, GG's, dude. Yeah, Have GG's. A nice day. Hey, you too. Hey, you ever make your way on YouTube, uh, you may find yourself on a, you know, if you ever look at Rag to Riches. Cool. Have a go, man. I don't know. Well, some, someone told me the other day I need to, I need to, like, promote myself a little more. <laughs> but uh, he's a cool guy. I'm glad we uh, were able to run into him and have a little bit of an adventure. All right. Well, this stuff is just going to get dropped off. It is a pigsty in here, and I got to clean it up one of these days. Drop it off, toss this in there, toss this, toss this, toss this. Yeah. The fun thing is when I actually run people that have like seen the videos, um, they don't really know it's me because of the microphone that I use. Because I don't have a, I don't have a splitter just yet for the microphone. So basically what they're hearing is me talking through a, it's a nice webcam, but it's like a webcam, webcam sound. So I always find it funny when they're just like, yeah, I don't I don't recognize you. Or if they did recognize it, they would they would still not recognize me. Drop all the stuff off. Alright, we got this guy. We got access card. Oh, that's right. That thing's full of my keys. Good on the keys, obviously. Drop this one off. Bring it on. I think that was it. Yeah, that should have been it. Okay, um, I think next episode, I'm going to start off with some selling. I think I'm just going to end the episode here because we have some things I want to get planned out, what I want to do for next episode. And of course, we have stuff we need to sell coming up. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, did I actually turn the question? I did not. Mechanic. My, mechanic, my man. Here you go. Enjoy it. Some XP. It's decent. It's decent. But now that we got Lighthouse Keeper unlocked, we are going to, like I said, have to go over to four different maps. We're going to have to do information source. It's not too bad, but we can definitely do this. Maybe next episode, we'll see. But we can definitely do it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Right Door series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you can say about for the future. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe, the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.